Hi, it's Steve with T-Quilts, and I'm quilting a customer's quilt, and I'm doing semi-custom quilting on it, whereas I'm doing an edge-to-edge, -edge, but I'm also cropping into that edge-to-edge, that edge -edge, and I am going to put something else in that particular spot. So let me get the system turned on, and I'll show you what I'm working on. Okay, T-Quilters, this is my screen that I previously stitched, and I have just nested my quilt, and I have rolled, and I have it ready so that my next section can quilt. You can see where I have quilting up here, and now I want to quilt this area in here, all the way down. So I have four of these boxes that I do not want to stitch the edge to edge in because I want to come back and put a block in the center here. So this is what I stitched last time, but this is not going to line up exact with the four squares that I have already that I've since I've rolled the quilt rather. So what I need to do is go over here to lay out and when we get to the layout screen, you'll see that we have two of six. My whole entire pattern is on screen number two. So I need to undo all of that in order to redo my pattern. So what I'm going to do is go to edit. And I want to undo what I set up for the previous row. So I'm just going to take all of that out. And now it's just sitting in the square for me to quilt. If that's what I want to do, I can quilt this whole entire pass. But that's not what I want to do. So right here, I want to go to free motion. And then once we're in free motion, I'm actually going to record. And whenever you hit the record button, it's automatically going to start recording any movement that you make on the machine. So I am going to see if I can put this on a tripod because I'm going to hit record and then I'm going to move on my quilt top. I'm going to go around this square. Once I go around that square, I'm going to come back up here, hit the record button again, and then press applique. So let's see if I can get you on a tripod so you can see this. Okay. So I am actually going to point you down on the screen. One thing is if you're not comfortable uh, following this free motion, you could also use a ruler to uh, use so that you put your hopper foot inside of the ruler. And then you could also move it that way. But I am just going to go ahead and wing this. And I'm going to try to aim this camera so you can see as I go down the quilt. You're not going to see everything, but you should see most of it. And hopefully, I won't be blocking too much of the information. So I'm going to tell you what I'm hitting on the screen since I've already told you what was on the screen. I am going to move my machine into the position I want to start because as soon as I start, Moving my machine, it's recording the activity. And I can see now that my arm is probably going to be blocking, but I'm going to actually trace down, back, up, and around. And then once I get back to this corner, I'm going to hit the record to stop recording, and then I'm going to hit the applique button. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to get into position. I am not stitching. I'm just moving the machine. This doesn't have to be perfect because I'm actually not going to be quilting in this particular area. I just want to make sure that I'm not, it's not going to stitch in my square. So now I'm hitting the record to turn it off. 
I have a block on my screen and I'm gonna have to move the camera so you can see that so this is the square that I just traced on my machine and see I got a little bobble there and that's okay it's not critical so what I did was I cut off the record and now I want to hit the applicate button and then it puts that up on the screen and now it's telling me that I'm at seven of seven however I should have gone into layout and removed my other screen so I'm gonna go to screen number six you can see six of six I'm going to tell it to minus that out and this check mark is asking me do I really want to do that yes I do now I'm at five of six I want to take that one out I want to hit check mark I'm at four of five I want to take that out hit the check and then I'm at three so I want to take that one out and hit the check and now I'm back at the main screen where I have the two. So, and when I go over to the third screen, this is where I just recorded that one that has the little bobble right there. So I am going to put the camera back down and we're going to repeat this process all the way down the quilt. And I gotta go back into free motion take my machine to the next square that I want to trace, put it where I want to start, I hit the record button, I move, outlining this square that I wanted to not stitch in. When I get to the corner, hit the record button to turn it off, and then hit the applique button. On my screen, it's now saying that I have four of four. And I'm going to move down to my next square. Hit the record button. Trace around the block. I'm at the corner. I'm going to hit the record button to turn it off. And then I'm going to hit applique. We have one more to do. I'm going to come down, hit the record button, trace my square. I'm at the corner, take the record off. Hit the applique and now when I come back I'll show you my screen where it's saying I have six of six now because I I start on number two and I just added four boxes so two and four makes six so now you can see down here where it says six of six of six now I want to go to pattern layout I want to go to layout and right now I'm sitting on box six of six and I need to be on the second one that has my full pattern in so I'm going to use the arrow buttons to back up and now I'm at two of six and when I hit this button over here it'll show all the pattern boxes and you can see I have my four, one, two, three, four boxes up in the screen. Let me zoom you in just in case you can't see that. But I have these four pattern boxes. These, I hit the screen by mistake. I have these four pattern boxes. Here's one, two, three, and four. Now that I have that and I'm on this screen, I need to make sure that I was on layout number two and then I'm going to go over here to edit. When I get to the edit screen, I wanna hit the crop. It's the fifth icon down. And when I get to the crop screen, I want to hit the crop button that's to the far right. And then I'm going to turn you up so you can see what happens when I hit this button. 
and see how it cropped out all the areas that I told it not to stitch in now one thing about using crop is when you use crop you're gonna have a lot of thread breaks and there's nothing that you can do about that you can set your jump stitch a little higher I have my jump stitch set for five inches I don't want it any larger than that because I don't want my machine to come back all the way down the machine to restart so every time you see where these little things end, those are going to be jump stitches that I'm going to have to trim off the front and the back of the quilt. So it will start out stitching pretty much. And then there's going to be some times where, because I have my jump stitch set to only do it at 5 inches, that it's going to tell me to clip the thread so that it can move to the next position. And I'll try to capture some of that, but initially it's going to start out stitching like it's a regular design. And then when it can't stitch anymore, it's going to start doing jump stitches. And then when it gets to the point where my jump stitch is more than 5 inches, it's going to tell me to clip the thread. So I'll try to get one of those screens where it's asking me to clip the threads for you. So I'm down here at the end of my quilting. It just finished quilting right here. And I've clipped the thread because up here on my screen, it says cut thread and if you remember in my previous video where I showed you to how to do an edge to edge and when it finished the first row there was nothing on the screen this is real important because it's telling you to do something and when you when I hit this check mark you already got to have the thread cut and you need to have your needle up because once I hit this check mark this machine is going to start moving and I'm going to show you that so I'm going to put the camera on the quilt and then I'm going to hit the check mark. And so without any prompting of my own, it knows where it wants to go stitch next. It's going to do an up and down stitch. I'm going to go pull the bobbin thread up. And then I'm going to hit another check mark to tell it that I pulled up my bobbin thread. I'm going to clip that thread and then now it should do jump stitches back across the top and every once in a while it may be too far for it to make a jump stitch and then I may have to cut the thread again but you can see it just made a jump stitch and then once it starts quilting sometimes I will cut them as it's quilting other times I'll wait and do the whole row at one time so it just doesn't matter but I just wanted you to see how it ends and then how it does a jump stitch so now it's actually got to go back through most of this top area up here it did stitch some, but most of it needs to be quilted up on the top of the, over the top of these squares. Again, it's tying off. And so that's going to be it for this video. I will not show you a finished portion of this quilt because I will put it into my finishes for the month of April and you will see the entire quilt there. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye T-Quilters. Stay blessed.